Hello, this is Robert, and in this video, I would like to show you how to create a two dimensional dynamic array using a pointer to a pointer. On line six, I have table declared, and table is a pointer to a pointer um, which can point to integers. Okay, so table is an integer pointer to a pointer. And just to compare and contrast a pointer to a pointer, I've also created an integer pointer right here. And so with an integer pointer, we can uh, create a dynamic array of integers. With a pointer to a pointer, we can create a dynamic array of integer pointers. Okay, so that sounds a little bit confusing and it's kind of hard to describe. So let's go ahead and take a look at a graphical representation. So um, integer pointers or pointers in general might be a little bit more familiar to you. And so whenever we create a pointer, um, we can create an array of that data type. So pointer, PTR, is a pointer um, to integers. And so we can create a, a new array a dynamic array of six integers with this pointer or any value that we want. This could be a variable or a constant. And then we can just use the subscript operator to get to each element of this dynamic array. So pointer at location two equals six. So zero, one, two, and then we can, and then we have access to uh, location two right there. So we can just use the subscript operator like normal. All right, now let's take a look at a pointer to a pointer. So here is the memory location for table. And so table is a pointer to a pointer. And then that those pointers can point to integers. Okay, so when we say new int pointer array, we have a collection of integer pointers right there. So we have six integer pointers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are our um, integer pointers. Each one of those pointers can then point to an array of integers. So I've created a loop here, and so it's going to loop through each location in the array, and it's going to assign a new array of five integers to each pointer. So I can get to um, pointer zero the first time through the loop. So table at location zero equals new int five, right? So I have five uh, integers in each row. So you can kind of think of the pointers as the rows, and then you can think of each integer in your, in your loop as the number of columns that you have. And so you can just use um, regular two-dimensional subscript operation, just like normal. So if we want to go to row three, we just put three in the, the first subscript um, dimension right there. So that's uh, uh, row three. And then we want to get to index three uh, for the column. So then we can just say zero, one, two, three. So the fourth row and the fourth column, uh, we can access like that. So in the next part of this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the code, and then we'll take a look at how to um, free or delete the memory so we don't have a memory leak. Okay, so this is our code file, and we have the table uh, pointer to a pointer already set up. So let's create our array of pointers using table. So in the, in the uh, example with the graphic, I used five or six or whatever, but you can, you can use whatever value you want. Okay, so you could even use a variable. So you could ask the user, how many rows and columns do you want to have? And then you could set up variables for that. But let's just keep it simple and I'll just use a literal. So if I want to have an array of pointers, I can say table equals new int pointer, right? 
So I don't want, I can't create just plain integers or an array of integers. I have to create an array of integer pointers. And then I can specify how many I want. Let's say we want to have five rows of integers. Okay, so this is going to allocate our um, array of integer pointers. So new integer pointer, and then we want to we want five of them. So we have a new array of five integer pointers. Okay, well each one of those um, pointers in the array can then point to a um, can then point to an array of integers. Okay, so for that we would need a loop. So let's create a, a, a loop right here. So int i equals zero, i is less than five, and then i plus plus. We don't really need the curly braces, but I like to put them in just for clarity. So um, now all I have to do is take each one of these integer pointers and assign um, a new array to it. Okay, so I can say table at i equals new int, and then I can specify how many integers I want. So let's have a table that's five rows by 10 columns. Okay, and that's, that's it for the loop that, um, that will set aside the, um, the, the, the two-dimensional array. Okay, so now it's in memory. Let's go ahead and get rid of this line just so it doesn't pop, keep that warning open. Let's go ahead and just put in like a way we might want to access the table. Let's, let's go to row, uh, the second row, which would be index one, maybe column seven or something like that. And we could set a value there. So if I say something like table, um, one, and then if I want to go to um, index seven, which would be the eighth row, I can just use the two subscript operators like that, and I can set it to whatever value I want. Okay, so there's nothing out of the ordinary when you are um, accessing the elements of a dynamic array. It's just like um, accessing <clears throat> a two-dimensional array that might be on the stack or an automatically declared two-dimensional array. Okay, since this array is dynamic, <clears throat> we would have a memory leak if we didn't free the memory. So let's go ahead and we'll do the opposite of what we did here. So we created this array first and then we assigned our um, integer arrays to each one of those pointers. So let's, let's go in reverse order. We need to delete the um, each row first. So I'm just going to come up here and I'm going to grab the oops. I'm going to grab the code. <laughs> there we go. Put it back to normal. And I'm just going to grab it with um, capital V, and then um, I'm going to yank it with Y. So now it's copied to the clipboard. So then I can paste it um, right here. So instead of creating a, a new um, array of integers, I just need to delete each array. So it's going to be delete um, table at location i. OK, so when we said new with each one of these locations, we used the subscript operator. So that means that we need the subscript operator version of delete. So if you allocate an array using a pointer, always make sure and use the array version of delete. Okay, so now each row has been deleted. So now we can go ahead and delete the original pointer array that we got with line seven right there. So all we have to do is delete um, and that's that's an array as well, so we say table like that. Okay, so this is how you can create a dynamic two-dimensional array. Thanks for watching.